good morning students today's class we will see about the retained placenta retained placenta said to be retained placenta is said to be retained when it is not expelled not not expelled out even after 30 minutes after the birth of the baby that means who is given the time limit of 15 minutes but even if it can be considered even at 30 minutes the causes there are three phases involved in the expansion of nobs normally in the placenta that is first is the separation to the spongy layer of decidua second is the descent into the lower segment and vagina third finally it expulsion to the outside interference in any of these physiological process result in this retention placenta completely separated but retained it may be due to poor voluntary expulsive effort Simple adherent placenta means it is due to the uterine atonicity in case of grand multiparous woman or over distension of the uterus. Morbid adherent placenta, it may be partial or rarely it is, can be complete also. Placenta in, incarcerated following the partial or complete separation due to the constriction ring, premature attempt to deliver the placenta before it is separated. Placenta is separated but not expelled. The placenta may be separated completely from the uterine muscle but still retained within the uterus. In those cases, there can be three causes for this retention. The first one, failure of the woman to push out placenta due to exhaustion or prolonged labor. Second, closure of the cervix preventing the placenta from being expelled. And third one, the constriction ring in the uterus can hold up the placenta. Simple adherent placenta. The placenta may fail to separate completely from the uterine muscle due to lack of contraction of the uterine muscles. In this condition called uterine atonicity occurs in cases where the uterine muscles have become lax either due to repeated pregnancy, prolonged labor or over distension of the uterus during pregnancy as in case of twin pregnancy or polyhydramnios. Simple adherent placenta is the commonest cause for retention of placenta. Morbid adherent placenta. Morbid adhesion of the placenta can occur when the placenta is implanted deeply into the uterine muscle and thus fall, fails to separate. The placenta can burrow up to different depths in the uterine muscle. In simple cases, it is not only attached firmly to the muscle and can be stripped off by hand. In severe morbid adhesion, placenta can burrow to the full thickness of the muscle. In this case, the uterus may need to be removed, that is hysterectomy, to control the bleeding. There are three types of morbid adhesion of placenta. The first one is placenta accreta. In this condition, placenta penetrates deep into the uterine endometrium and reaches the muscles but does not penetrate into the muscles. Second, placenta increta. Here the placenta attaches even deeper into the uterine wall and penetrates into the uterine muscle. And third one is uterine percheta. In this condition, the placenta not only penetrates through the full thickness of the uterine muscles but also attaches to the another organs this bladder or in the rectum. Placenta percheta is a very rare variation. Diagnosis. Diagnosis is only made by the arbitrate the arbitrary time limit that is 15 minutes after the delivery of the baby. The features of placental separation has to be assessed for. The complications include hemorrhage, shock due to blood loss at times related, unrelated to blood loss especially when retained more than one hour, frequent attempt of abdominal manipulation to express the placenta out, puperal sepsis, Recurrence can be occur in the next pregnancy. Attempts at manual removal of placenta can cause multiple injuries to the mothers just like vulvar hematoma, perineal tear, cervical tear and vaginal wall tear. Management include a period of watchful expectancy that means during the time limit of half an hour, the patient is to be watched for any evidence of bleeding which is either concealed or revealed and to be not the signs of placental separation. Catheterize the bladder. To empty the bladder, breastfeed or nipple stimulation has to be done. Change of position and graze upright position. If this still retains separate, express the placenta by controlled call traction. If it is not separated, manual removal of the placenta under general anesthesia. 
if bleeding immediately inform the anesthetist inform large bore iv cannula insert a urinary catheter to empty the bladder come start oxytocin infusion 20 units in 1 liter per 60 drops per minute measure an accurate record blood loss prepare and transfer the patient to the operation theater for manual removal of placenta Management or treatment of retained placenta. Treatment will depend upon the cause of retention of the placenta. If the bleeding is present, the active treatment is done to control the blood loss and support the general condition of the patient. Control contraction. If the patient the placenta is separated but not expelled, then control contraction should be carried out. In this method, uterus is held in place or pushed up gently to the abdominal wall by the left hand. The cut umbilical cord hanging from the vagina is held in the right hand and pulled steadily and slowly to pull out the placenta. Manual removal of placenta. Step 1. Under general anesthesia, patient placed in lithotomy position and bladder has to be catheterized. Step 2. After dipping in antiseptic solution, one hand should introduce into the uterus following the umbilical cord in a cord shape and locate the margin of placenta. Step 3. Counter pressure should be applied abdominally, maybe the other hand. Step 4. When the placenta margin located, the fingers insinuated between the placenta and uterine wall, placenta is gradually separated sideways, slicing movement of fingers till the wall placenta is separated. Step 5. When the placenta is fully separated, it is extracted by traction of the cord by the other hand. Step 6. Intention methodogen 0.2 mg is given. Uterus massage to make it hard. Inspect the cervical vaginal canal is to be made to exclude any injury. Step 7. Inspect the placenta and membranes for its completeness. Complications during manual removal of placenta include hourglass contraction. That means the, the placenta either separated or unseparated partially or completely trapped by a local contraction of the circular muscle of the uterus. It is situated at the lower uterine junction of lower uterine segment and upper uterine segment. Administration of any oxytocin, especially ergometrin, third stage management or undue irritability of uterus by premature attempt to remove the placenta is the cause. Management of hourglass contraction include if the ring should be relaxed by deepening the anesthesia, the con shaped hand introduced and separation of placenta is preferably done above, above the downward to minimize the bleeding. Morbid adherent placenta. Morbid adherent placenta or placenta accreta. It is an extremely rare form in which placenta is directly anchored to the myometrium partially or completely without any intervening decidua. Probable cause due to absence of decidua basalis and poor development of fibrinoid layer. The risk groups include placenta previa and previous cesarean delivery. Other factors include DNC, manual removal of previous, the history of manual removal of placenta, increasing maternal age and parity. Diagnosis made only at the time of manual removal of placenta, USG, color Doppler and MRI are confirmatory diagnosis. Management of multidisciplinary approach is the management has to be done. In partial placenta accreta focal, remove the placenta tissue as much as possible. Effective uterine contraction hemostasis achieved by oxytocin. In total placenta accreta, hysterectomy is indicated in Paris women. Conservation of uterus done by incising uterus above the placental attachment and clamping and cutting the umbilical cord as close to its base as possible and leaving behind the placenta, which is expected to be autolyzed in due course of time. Appropriate antibiotic should be given. Urina, urinary and uterine artery embolization of therapy with methotrexate has been done for conservation of the uterus. In rare cases of placenta accreta, may, it may invade bladder. In those cases, avoid placenta removal. It may need hysterectomy and partial cystectomy. Hysterectomy: If the patient is too deeply, the placenta is too deeply embedded into the uterine musculature called placenta accreta, a hysterectomy is to be remove the uterus may be indicated. The post procedure include observe the woman closely until the effect of IV sedations has gone off. Monitor the vital signs like pulse, blood pressure, respiration every 30 minutes for next six hours until st or until stable. Palpate the uterine fundus to ensure that the uterus remain contracted. Check for excessive lochia. Continue the infusion of IV fluids. Transfuse as necessary. Complication of uterine placenta include uterine inversion, shock that is hypovolemic, postpartum hemorrhage, puperal sepsis, subinvolution, and hysterectomy. Thank you. Thank you for listening.